Hello everyone, welcome to instrumentation tools. Let's open the app quiz meter. So, so far we have completed 6 level in PLC, PLC true or false topic. So, today we are going to start level 7. We have so more to go. So, move to level 7. So the first question we are having is safety IVO module are designed to handle safety related inputs and output compiling with specific safety standards and regulations. So yes actually there are safety modules okay. So if you see Allen Bradley or Siemens what may be the product is they will have the safety plc itself okay or sometimes a cpu may be the normal cpu few of the ivo modules they have connected will be having the safety ivo modules why they are having a safety ivo modules means that they are built you know and certified to comply with specific standards space safety standards okay in some cases if in one of the some some you know abnormal condition they want to completely stop the entire plant means they can make use of these safety modules okay so this is these modules will play the very uh, you know critical role in implementing safety functions like emergency stops safety interlocks so these kind of all the safety measures will be taken care by these modules okay and uh, these are the key component in safety related control system okay so in power plants and all they will be having some specific modules which will be only taking care under the safety constraints okay if some abnormal comes abnormal situation comes these modules will you know immediately react to the you know situation and taken care by you know it will take care of the uh, all the interlocks and what are the safety measures it can it can do or it is programmed for what it have to do it will do okay so i'm going with the answer true so we have the next question expansion ivo module provide temporary additional ivo capabilities that are removed after the certain period so expansion ivo modules we are going uh, uh you know whenever uh, we are uh, uh, you know uh, what are the for example let's take the uh, you know integrator type of plc okay so integrator type will be having few of the ivos like take 14 input and 10 output line kind of so but if you are in need of few more inputs means you can go for the expansion modules okay and we cannot make that as a temporary module temporary additional module it will not come under the temporary but it will be the permanent or semi permanently added more inputs and output to the plc system so these provide scalability allowing the system to grow and change to meet increased io needs okay this is not kind of a temporary you know but these are added to adapt the long term changes in plc requirement so i am going with the answer false so we have a third question Temperature IO module are specialized in connecting directly to temperature sensors like RTD and thermocouple. Okay, so we know that uh, you know temperature sensor are also you know uh, inputs to the PLC, right? So for uh, some of the application we will be getting reading from RTDs and thermocouples. So in that case, we need some special modules which will accept these signals so those modules we can you know tell us temperature ivo modules so uh, this this specially designed to connect directly with the temperature sensors like rtd thermocouple and all they often include specific circuit uh, you know cir uh, circuitry and compensation technique to accurately interrupt the signal from the sensor and translating into uh, in one of the uh, value where uh, which plc can understand okay that's what we can you know call it as the scaling kind of thing we will be there between these modules and cpu so i'm going with the answer true so we have a next question here intrinsically safe ivo module or designed to operate in 
hazard situation hazard location where explosive gases or dust may be present so these modules are spe specifically designed to operate operate in some hazard location where there may be a risk of explosion due to the presence of some flammable gases or vapors some kind of dust okay so these are these kind of modules can withstand all these situation okay it is designed to limit the energy available for electrical sparking and or heat effect reducing the risk of ignition you know these kind of things will be taken care by these intrinsically safe ivo modules okay so we have all kind of industries in our uh, uh, you know world right so how they are managing all these uh, industries using these kind of modules only okay so i am going with the answer true so intelligent ivo module contains their own processing capabilities to offload some processing task from main plc processor uh yes i can go with yes because these intelligent ivo module have built in some processing capability is actually there because at some cases you know for some of the task it have to handle independently okay you know every time it cannot depend on the you know main cpu sometimes it have to take some immediate action that time it have to be independent okay so this can include prelim preliminary you know data processing some filtering some communication task so this will offloading the main processor and potentially improving overall system efficiency and responsiveness okay so i am going with the answer true so rack based ivo module must always be installed in the fixed location and cannot be distributed throughout the facility so it cannot be fixed in one location no okay so even though it is a rack based ivo module uh, it will be you know throughout it can also be used in distributed configuration okay so remote or distributed ivo rack can be connected to the main uh, plc using some communication networks and it's allowing the flexibility in system you know design and reducing some wiring uh, complexity in large and uh, you know distributed applications okay so i'm going with the answer false so high density ivo module provide a large number of ivo channel in the compact from compact form factor suitable for application with limited space okay so you are uh, take a rack okay in the rack you are having uh, you are going to keep that uh, rack in your uh, uh, system panel okay the system panel will be uh, very congested and you cannot expand in some cases you know some cases you cannot able to expand that okay in that cases you can go for these kind of high density ivo modules which will be uh having a space to uh, you know accommodate more number of ivos okay so whenever you are facing some space related issues in the panel you can go for these kind of modules okay so this provide a effective solution without sacrificing the functionality also okay so i am going with the answer true so we have a eighth question here analog input modules are used to read continuous signals like temperature pressure and flow from corresponding sensors so analog modules are used to read the analog inputs okay so this temperature flow pressure these are all the process variable which are uh, the signals are continuous okay not a discrete one fine so yes i'm going with the answer true so we have a ninth question remote ivo module are always connected to the main plc processor through through wireless communication so it doesn't uh, you know always in the word called always is there no so it is if we cannot tell like that okay so it can be through wire also okay you know wired communication networks like ethernet even wireless also it doesn't mean that remote should be always wireless it can be a wire also the choice depends upon the specific application 
and the distance you know some environmental consideration and other factors so since they have put a word always i'm going with a you know answer false so came to the end we have a 10th question here digital output modules are typically used to display numerical data to the human operators in the plc system so digital i uh, i mean output module or input module whatever it is it is only for the discrete that means binary 0 or 1 whether it is on or off you cannot display the numerical data so i am going with the answer false now we are done with all 10 questions so you can move to the next level from here or if you want to review your answers you can review the answers here or you want to share your score with your friend you can share using this share your score option okay so if you like the video kindly like and subscribe our channel and share with your friends so that they can you both can grow together thank you